Being an adult. <laughs> okay. It's recording. I did it for real? I did it. Oh, well now it's too late. Now it's trash. I'm four minutes in. I'm kidding. It's not trash. But anyway, so <laughs> I've told you guys I'm helpless. This is why you got to build relationships with people who can do technology. Hey! All right. But in all seriousness, um, in especially the network marketing space, I will tell you, you need to be good at this and you need to build relationships with people that are different than you. Please write that down. I was on a call yesterday or a clubhouse or a, I don't know, on a live, on an Instagram, on a TikTok. I was somewhere on the internet where we all live, okay? I shouldn't have asked if you live in the UK because, you know, we all just actually live on the internet. That's our local residency. Um, and I said something about, or somebody was trying to coach people on how, you know, you want to find people that are just like you. And I said, that could not be further than the truth. The reason my business is so successful is because my business is so diverse. And it's funny, I haven't done a call. This is like a God thing for sure. I have not done a call in front of this wall in, a call in front of this wall um, in like eight months. And I happen to be doing a call in front of this wall on a call with y'all. Um, and we're talking about relationships. And this wall is something that, um, this is all relationships. What this is, there's, it's a, it's a whole wall. Like it's very far. Um, but these are the car earners on our team. So these are the faces of the people who are the, the pillars of leadership in our organization. And for me, there's a million reasons I have them up here. But the reason I love that we're talking about this right now is because somebody tried to fight me about this, about a click funnel about nine months ago. And he said, well, you've got to find your avatar. Has anyone ever heard this? I'm like, that is the most non-building relationship thing in the world. Take it out of your vocabulary, okay? So he's like, you've got to find your avatar. Who's your perfect recruit? I said, what are you talking about? He's like, who's the perfect person on your team? I was like, what? He's like, well, there's got to be a perfect person. I'm like, Jesus? <laughs> like, I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what do you mean the perfect person? I thought, he's like, well, there's got to be one better than the other. And he literally said it to me as I was sitting right here in this office. And I looked at these people's faces and I went, no way. Like, I don't have the empire without, like, you don't know these people. So, but I'll just give you examples. Okay. Like this person is a comedian. This person is shy and but also dances around on the internet. Hold on, how far can you see? This person is actually one of my best friends. He's kind of lazy, but I love him. Okay, and he's like, we need him because he's attractive with his shirt off. All right, and we're in health and wellness too. <laughs> he's literally one of my best friends. I can say whatever I want, okay? Um, we need him because we need Italy. We need her because she is super organized. She's a creative. Um, she is kind of flighty, but like we need her. I don't know how else to explain it. You know, like she's one of the biggest businesses of everyone. Um, we need them because they have the organizational skills most people don't. Uh, we need her because she's uh, all line, 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 but also very, very uh, A through Z knows everything. We need her because she has like the biggest heart on the planet. Like, and you can't even, like, I'm only, I don't know how far you can see. Uh, we need her. She's a monster, monster recruiter. We need him because this is Germany. This is how Germany started. Like, you get the point. Okay. They're all different. You can't say, oh, this color personality is better and this background's better and I only want moms and I only want dads and I only want quiet people or I only want loud people or I only want popular people or I only want skinny people or I only want whatever people. That's such crap in business. Okay, you need to start caring about people, building relationships with people so that they want to do business with you as write it down who the heck they are okay like none of these people need to change for me i need them quite frankly to be a louder version of themselves if anything or like a quieter if they're like a cute little quiet church mouse okay but it is my job to create an environment just like it's your job nina or joanne or claire or had there's like nine claires this is so perfect i'm just gonna say claire and half of you are gonna respond okay so or Gemma, you know I need you to be you because you as the leader need to give people a safe place to grow into the best versions of themselves. Okay. It's not, 
it's not the loud mouths in network marketing that win. The only reason I happen to be a loud mouth, but like, that's not why I'm winning. I'm winning because I care. I'm winning because it matters to me that we get people from no money to a hundred dollars a month, a hundred dollars. Like, okay, hold on. Or a hundred pounds. We'll say pounds. A hundred pounds a month is 1200 pounds a year. Can you put in the chat something you can buy with 1,200 pounds? Just out of curiosity, a holiday, a car, a spa, oh, I need a massage. Oh, you can buy a Louis Vuitton bag. Yes, Lindsay. Shoes, Ashley, my people are here. Okay, I found my family, thank you. I knew it, I knew it, I had a feeling, but now I am confirming, okay? Let me explain something. If you build relationships where you actually care, like I can say all of their spouse's names, I can name all of their children's names, those of them who have pets, I can say pets' names. It was getting complicated for a while because one of them had eight rats at one point in time. I'm like, rats? <laughs> like the things that live in sewers. Okay, show me little hairless daisy. Great, this is, this is really great. Okay, right? I know what they like. I know the things that motivate them, right? And that, and they weren't all high achievers. You understand that, right? That's why I'm saying the relationship matters. Because there's not a person on this call who can't be a car earner or a million dollar a year earner. It starts with belief. And here's the thing. All of you believe you can build this business to some level, right? I don't, I don't know what that level is for you. You know, maybe it's you believe you can build it to 100 pounds a month. Maybe you believe you can build it to 300 pounds a month. Maybe you believe you can build it to 1,000 pounds a month. But I can promise you, you can build it as big as you believe you can. The biggest leaders on this call are building their businesses as big as they're building their businesses because she believes she can. I only see women. <laughs> Sorry, boys. <laughs> right? Like, she believes she can build it that big. Sarah believes she can build it this big, right? Melissa believes she can build it this big. That's where you're getting paid at because that's the level you believe. But if you're building relationships, then people start talking about vulnerabilities. That's when Verity gets on a call with you and says, Lydia, I, I just don't feel good enough. Like, I've been told that I'm not good enough my whole life. Um, my brother told me that I was the weird sibling my whole life. Um, I was always picked last at everything. And I don't know why this would be any different. And if you don't have a relationship with somebody, that conversation never happens. If you don't care about Louise or Joanne or Natalie or Montana or whoever, they never pick up the phone. You know what they do? They quit, but they never tell you. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Do you wanna know why? Thank you, Claire, for the hands up. I love it. The participation is so strong. They never call you because they never trusted you. They never trusted you because you never reached out about sometimes anything except for, hey, are we going to get our order in at the end of the month? Or you never picked up the phone to say, hey, or, 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 or the only messages they ever got were, you know, you're only this far away. You don't want so many fizzy sticks or tea away from a promotion, right? Hey, don't forget your auto ship. Those are the only conversations we're having sometimes with people. And that's not what relationships are built on. Relationships are built on the little things. Relationships are built on birthday cards. And relationships are built on uh, following up with your team and seeing what's going on in their life. And relationships are built on, hey, I see that your husband is going through a really hard time. If you need anything, just, I'm here. Relationships are built on sending gratitude texts in the morning, maybe to three to five people on your team, just saying, hey, I see you, I appreciate you. Just so you're opening the door so that they are comfortable having a conversation with you, right? Because relationships are two ways. You want an organization to grow, well then you have to build trust. And trust is only built if you're genuinely talking to people and genuinely caring about people and genuinely showing people that it's possible. That level of belief builds from you. So you as their leader, when they talk to you more and you start sharing belief, 
they start to look at themselves differently. Kelly might have started this business thinking that she could only make 500 pounds a month and with more conversations with you and more training calls with you that she only got on because she had a relationship with you. Huh. And then she learned how to build a business. Oh. And then she started making a thousand pounds a month because she believed she could make a thousand. And the next thing you know, it turned into two thousand. And the next thing you know, it turned into five thousand. And the next thing you know, she's a top earner. Right? It happens like this. Does that make sense to everybody? But people don't reach out to say, I need help if the olive branch is not already extended. Most people start in this business, and there's people on this call right now, because there's enough of you on here that I know this is true, where you are still so scared and nervous. People leave the business because they don't feel seen. People like leave businesses because they don't feel appreciated. People leave businesses because they don't feel like they matter. So how can you continue to communicate you do matter? How can you continue to communicate, hey, when you show up, I notice. Little, 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 little things. Like, it makes me wonder, like, have any of you, I, I know there's probably a, it's one team, I'm sure, and then there's like little teams inside, right, that are growing. Have you taken the time to look through the participants? I do this on every call that is not affiliated with me, because like our team calls have one or two people on them, right? It's a little crazy, okay? But I take the time to do something special. So can you go through the participants and message and say, Joanne, I saw you on that call, I'm really excited. Hey, Leanne, oh my gosh, thank you so much for getting on that call. What was your favorite takeaway? Hey, I know it was getting late. I know it's, you know, it's past dinner time, supper time, and uh, I know this is usually when you put your baby to sleep. I wanna say thank you, I saw you, Christine. Isabel, thank you. I know you had a lot of things you could have been doing. I saw you on that call. Just building the relationship and encouraging. That's just like any relationship. Because if you ignore the relationship long enough, it goes away. Ha! This is not just a business. Okay, friendolas. Uh, hello. You ignore your partner enough. Guess what? <laughs> Bye. Right? I mean, that's just sort of the way it is. Like, if you are ignoring me, a goodbye. So the people who are scared and nervous and second-guessing their business... It's no different than a new relationship. If you're just dating somebody and they ghost you, you know, every couple of every every couple of times you text them, don't you think you're gonna stop texting them? <sighs> yeah, yeah, you are. You are. And so I think sometimes we complicate things. Like I don't know about you, but I, I know a lot of people on our team, uh, they overcomplicate things. They think this business is is difficult. No. This is a business of relationships. It's a business of who knows people the most. It's a business of who cares about people the most. It's about who can remember the most about people. Nina says, am I right in thinking you personally recruited over 300 people the last two months? Yeah, almost, uh, well, a little over 400, I think. Massive, massive, yeah. But let me tell you something. That's relationships too, okay? Because people will not do business with people they, know, they don't know, like, and trust. So if somebody's going to join me as their sponsor, it's because I've built a relationship with them. And people go, how on earth? Like Stephanie, oh my God, how did you do that? Okay, it's because I constantly show up. I just said if you ignore a relationship long enough, it goes away. Well then why don't some of you go live and talk to your people? Why don't some of you show your face to people? Why don't you show them how absolutely busy you are? Right? Why don't you show them how much you care enough to coach and teach and train and build the business? People join me because I've created relationships with them on the internet. Like, okay, I don't think any of you are my next door neighbor. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> okay? If a little cutie with a with an English accent came over to my house, I would know, all right? None of y'all are my neighbors, all righty then. I live in Texas and uh, yeah, none of you do that I know of, okay? Like, but this is relationship building. Have you noticed I keep going through and I'm like scrolling and I'm like, hey, Vicky, right, Hannah? Okay, Amanda, right, Joanna? Okay, is there another word in the English language that you like better than your own? No. Okay, Jessica, Melissa's like, just say my name. I'm gonna put my face really close to the camera and then maybe she'll say my name. It worked, boom, okay? like. It's relationship building. When you're live on video, do you say people's names? Do you let them know you're listening? Do you respond to direct messages? It's so amazing to me that people think you can't build relationships online. Well, 
Hmm. Maybe it starts with half of you, if not 90% of you, literally don't comment back to people's comments. This goes back to, are you trying to be dumped by your partner? <laughs> like, just keep ignoring him. He'll go away, I promise. She will vanish. She will leave. Some of you want to recruit that many people. Well, then talk back. I made this TikTok that I didn't think was going to be that funny, but everyone thought it was funny. I just did use that hip-hop song that's like, talk to me, I talk back. And I was like, are you sick and tired of posting on people's pages and they never write back? Oh my God, it was like a monster lead generator. People were like, oh my God, finally a sponsor who will talk to me. What? What? Like, what? Are you, are you not messaging? Why are we not messaging people back? I know, common sense. Sarah's like, I'm very confused. I don't know. But common sense is honestly not that common. I don't know why, but it's not. So when you're thinking about how to build a relationship, what do you like? What do you like? You know, what are the things that you like? For me, you know, everybody sees it all over the internet because I tend to write it all the time or I tend to repost them all the time, but I buy a lot of gifts. I buy a lot of gifts. I do a lot of swag. I do a lot like this is just sitting here. So like these are custom made for our team. I don't know why they're sitting here, but whatever. There's a pen he just took that's also custom for our team. Like it's all over the place. Here's a shirt for our, there are several of them. I don't know why this is all over my, <laughs> it's everywhere, right? Look, oh, hold on, hold on. No matter where in the world you're from, look, your flag is on my shirt. Oh my God, how cute is that? <laughs> so cute oh my god okay but anyway it just has every flag in the world i think that's adorable right it's adorable it's adorable union jack somewhere on there okay but um but i will tell all of you that when you let people or you show people that they belong somewhere they stay then there's no attrition so for me it's really obvious how do i like relationships no i don't want all my relationships to buy me a bunch of gifts that just sounds really psycho but i like to feel appreciated I like you know if you like words use your words your biggest leaders all of these people on my wall I know their love languages so I can speak them some people if I send them gifts they're gonna be all hot and bothered oh here's a really good uh, another good tip anybody leading a team get your team to fill out Amazon wish lists I have our team fill out Amazon wish lists so that when I do buy them gifts because I buy a lot of gifts right when I do buy them gifts I get them something that they want instead of buying them like trashola that just sits i don't know why everything gets an ola at the end it's like my own personal language okay instead of getting trash that they're never going to touch you know what i mean so speak their language if your leader is acts of service do you want to know what the best thing you can do is to make them feel appreciated in the business relationship work your business it costs you nothing okay i know i know i know but it's true it's true all right uh i'm just trying to give you guys examples because to me ultimately relationship building i know i'm over time but relationship building overall is just god gave you one mouth and two ears for a reason listen care because people do not care how much you know shaking the whole table do not care how much you know until you show them how much you care so I love you guys and I appreciate you guys. And I know that might sound so crazy for some of you because you're like, I didn't even know you until 25 minutes ago and when you were fumbling around with your technology, which by the way, be real. That's another tip maybe on relationships. Okay, if I came in here acting all high and mighty, welcome to the show. You'd be like, I am out of here. <laughs> like she is not my people. All right, um, but anyway, you know, I say I love you to people because there are people in this world who hate people for no reason. And I think this is very obvious, unfortunately, in 2021. Um, and so I like to love you for no reason, because why not? So I love you and I appreciate you. God bless all of you. Thank you for having me. I do have to jump on another call in less than five minutes now. But thank you so much for showing up. I know it's getting late over there. And uh, hopefully I talk to all of you soon. Have a good one. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Prince, I don't know how to turn that off. Help. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I will share this, of course, to my Instagram TV. Ciao. Wow, I'm getting gifts. Prince, I don't know how to turn it off. You just click off. No, it's recording. <laughs>